Hello, welcome back. This is 20 Below Zero. We're playing XCOM Chimera Squad. Uh, and we are about to jump into downtown, which is literally on fire. Um, and we're going to jump in there before it, it is going to fully erupt. Um, yes, it means our main objective, Angler's Point Prevent Field Test, is going to just ride it out a little bit longer. But... I think in the end, we're going to walk away with an epic submachine gun. And guess what? I've got actually a lot of submachine gun users on my squad. I think it's going to be really cool. Just jump in there. And we'll, um, you know, we'll immediately apply that submachine gun to uh, either Terminal or Torque. Or um, I forget actually who else is using subs. But this is going to be really nice. Terminal, Blue Blood, Zephyr, Torque. Um, I like this. Uh, I like this. It's extra. There's a lot of aggression here, and and uh, and then Torque happens to be kind of like this weird combo of aggressor plus defensive unit because he can effectively shut down a um, like a unit indefinitely using his bind ability. Um, plus, he can set people on fire. So let's go and do that. Uh, repel point, keypad door. I think we've got what we need. Let's go for it. God, I love that that growl. It sounds like um, I mean, I don't know that much about cars. Good it sounds like a, like a Porsche. Like hostiles have a weapon on our list. Yes, sir. I want to get that weapon. Ah, I understand. So you don't actually construct plasma weapons. You steal them from your enemies. That is an interesting um, design space. I kind of expected the uh, construction would be part of the, um, what is it called? The tech tree of this game. All units through this entrance get plus 50 dodge for a round. Yeah? Uh, Zephyr. Uh, please dodge everything. Blue blood. Will crit. Will stun. Blue blood stun, please. Repel. Uh, we'll crit. We'll crit. Uh, I guess it doesn't truly matter. Everyone's... Yeah, I like this. Now, who's going last? And I think the answer is, um... I think the answer is our snake goes last. Because I want our snake to find somebody, pull them in, and then pull overwatches on everyone. And I like that idea. Ready for anything. Yeah, let's do it. Go, go, go. To move. Move in, now. <clears throat> I love the idea of a snake breaking through a, gl a plate glass window. <laughs> uh, love it. Everybody, to your places. And then the MMA fighter immediately gets into hot water. Uh, now, if somebody is alert, we can cancel. I like the idea of canceling this bruiser or this acolyte or this trooper all the way in the back. Honestly, I think I want to go for the trooper all the way in the back and do like a pincer move to... Um, I want to send her all the way to the back and then have her charge forward. Effectively um, cutting off a lot of quarter from the enemy. Let's go for that. Not over yet. Uh, got a hitman. Got a surprise thrall. Acolyte. Now 100%, he's got 100% chance. Uh, remember, he can stun, I do believe. Is everyone stunning? I think everyone's stunning. Um, take it on the hitman, then. Put him out of... Uh, yeah, he's alert as well. Um, put him out of... Out of use for, like, a turn or two. And he's also... Oh, we could have done it on the bruiser. Well, that's going to be a little uh, uh, frustrating. Reach fire. On the thrall. On the thrall, surprised. Acolyte. Ooh, 93% on the Acolyte would be nice. 
Um, thralls, I'm not totally convinced that they're, like, I'm, I have to be worried about them. Um, I like the idea of going for the Acolyte. 93% damage. I have a 20% uh, hit chance uh, because of my height advantage, which is awesome. Let's go for that. Yeah! Very nice. Six damage. We can hit somebody for... I almost guarantee we can guarantee a hit somewhere. Surprise Thrall, Surprise Thrall, the Alert Trooper. I like the idea of Toxic greeting him. Um, to wipe out, wipe him out. Yeah, he's alert as well. I'm not exactly sure what alert units do. But um, note that the Surprise Thrall in the back, he's... um. He's different than this alert trooper. I'm gonna poison him. Let that two damage do something good. Alright. Gonna walk to the back. Smack him in the face. Very nice. He's alert, which means he gets a move. He's also poisoned. Okay. So alert units get a move. Whereas surprised units don't get anything. Very interesting. Um, okay. We've got a lot of uh, junk coming in here. So, number two. Oh, this Thrall. Okay. Interesting. Um, I think we want to Crippling Blow somebody. We could Crippling Blow you. Number ten. Um... I like the idea of crippling blowing this guy. But number two is, um, you know, he's about to go. Interesting. I think the way that works, number two is up close. Number seven's all, number ten's all the way in the back. Number eight's all the way in the back. Three is on the side. Five is in the middle. Hmm. I wonder how that actually works. Not entirely certain. Uh, that's explosive barrels. Not cool. But um, I don't think I have to worry about it too, too much. Let's walk over here, and oh, or I can throw a shock grenade. Hold the phone. Shock grenade. Five and three? Oh yeah, we can do that. Hmm. Actually, yeah, shock grenade on 5 and 3, and then we can go for number 10, I think. Throwing grenade. Get him out. Stun him. Stun for one. I think the other guy's stunned for one as well. Okay. What can we do here? We can either subdue. I mean, we can. Or we can crippling blow somebody. Um, Crippling Blow. I think we want to go for a Subdue here. I mean, you may as well. It's like, so easy. Um, plus, uh, it affords me a little bit of half cover to work with. Let's go for it. Subdued Hostile. Subdued him. Um, Thrall is making his move. Ah! It's okay. That was a good dodge. Excellent dodge. Um see how she floats. <gasps> oh, that's another dodge. Oh, that's Oh, the dodge chance is actually kind of amazing. Okay. Um blue blood. Uh blue blood. Wait, why is blue blood going up next? Remember, he's got an opportunity to be ever vigilant. So, I think you either take your shots Hit man in the back. Thrall in the front. Thrall in the back. Trooper. He's gonna die. I'm not worried. Um, number five. Hit man. He's gonna just be on fire. Not too worried about him either. Honestly, like... Number four. Number five. Maybe two? Where's two? I can't see two. Am I, am I going crazy? 
I guess number two, I literally cannot see. So what about the phase lands? What kind of cool stuff can you do with the phase land? Nothing. That's a that's a big fat nothing here. Okay. What if you were to do some cool things by stepping downwards? Like, if you were to move to this spot right here, and phase lance, does this hit both? It does! Oh, that's so cool. Okay. Gotta keep in mind the um, the verticality of this is kind of iffy, but I like where his head's at. Shall we do a flashbang? No, let's save the flashbang for later. Dropping the hammer. Let's go for it. Yay! Ah, nice, nice twofer. He's um, he's awake. Mm, why is he awake? It's fine. Um, terminal. What can you do at this point? Um, you can pin somebody down. Who can you pin down? Number two? Number three. I think you want to pin down number three eventually. Um, so who do you want to give cooperation to? I like the idea of um, giving, pinning down three, but also, I mean, I want to have like a, darn it. I want to have an overwatch ready. Kind of want to have an overwatch ready. But maybe we do a pin down first on Hitman. Okay. And now, get that overwatch, and we'll point it this way. Ooh, oh my gosh. Let's, um, can we, uh, can we zoom out a little bit? Going a little nuts. Okay, we'll, um, put the overwatch right here. And... Hold on. Torque is going to go next. Yeah, I like that idea. Let's um, throw a overwatch this way. Okay. He takes two. Um, followed by Torque doing her best. We won't throw the incendiary grenade. We'll, we'll save. But we will tongue pull. Bruiser. The thrall. Yes, we'll tongue pull on this thrall. Do it. For a face -to -face. See how this combo works out. Yeah! Oh, in the midair. I love that. Is that a free... Hold on. Whose turn is it? It's Terminal's turn? Why is it Terminal's turn? <laughs> this is a funny... Uh, this is a, that's a funny little um, thing. Okay. Torque. Um, she's bugged out, but it's fine. Let's try to fire a weapon. And over... I mean, what if we nano... Oh! Okay, so this is bugged out. It looks as if... Uh, it looks as if it's Terminal's turn. However, it still is... Um, this is all still, uh, Torx, uh, uh, we weapon set, uh, skill sets. Um, take your shot on the bruise. May as well. Gosh. Oh, we're doing gangbusters here. Has anyone even taken real damage? I want to say the answer is no. Um, if we subdue, eh, it's a good chance. Let's go for it. Yeah! <laughs> I mean, you know, you gotta you gotta put out the burning by stomping on the fire. We were just trying to protect his life from ending uh, via via flames, you know. Um, somebody's gonna be rooted. 
which is not cool. First unit through the entrance is guaranteed to land their shot, though. Fewer aggressive enemies, and first unit gains plus three damage during the breach. Hello. Well, first of all, does that mean blue blood? <clears throat> target, uh, target analyzer is gonna be uh, kind of nice. Hollow scanner can't do. Zephyr, you have a ceasefire bomb that you cannot use. First unit will be rooted for a round. I wonder how that's going to apply to Zephyr. So I wish not to do that. I think Torque um, goes here. Zephyr then goes, and she can she can throw a bomb. Hollow scanner. Uh, honestly, I don't think it's going to be necessary. Target analyzer is going to be nice. We'll throw that first before we take our shot. Yeah, I like that. I'm sorry. I want to throw the target analyzer. More crit is amazing, especially with that and guaranteed to land the shot. Let's don't breach. Breaching now. Okay. Get that weapon disabled. Oh, that's so nice. Oh my god, there's a lot of baddies. Grenade out. Target analyze. Uh, just walk straight through that door. No rush. Lancer shot. 7 to 8 versus 8 to 9. Okay. Acolyte. Acolyte. Aggressive Thrall. Um, Surprise Trooper. I mean, the Aggressive Thrall, though. Listen, I'm dealing an extra 3 damage. I think it makes sense for me to just take it on somebody who's just gonna pass immediately. An Alert Acolyte. Not as... not totally worried about him. A Surprised Trooper. He's got extra HP. I think it's worth it to just take your shot here. 100%. Let's go for it. Lead by example. Thank you. Okay, 98%. Acolyte, aggressive thrall. I think you go for the aggressive thrall. That's um that's a 69% chance to kill. I don't like it though. Um Let's go for the Acolyte. Ah, I don't know. Let's see how many aggressive units there are in this room. Uh, only one. Uh, you may as well handle them, right? Hold on. 100%, 100%, 100%, 100%. Uh, four damage. That's a six damage. That's like another five damage. This guy is a little bit bigger. I will snag him later. Um, what I will do is... Take care of this aggressive brawl, for sure. Uh, shall I use a toxic greeting? Uh, that's a that's a no on that. That's a f this is a guaranteed kill, isn't it? Go for it. Yeah, and then you, my friend, um, get to live because I'm going to blitz towards this alert and cancel his alert. Yeah, I like that. Fearless advance. Run, run, run! Shoot. <laughs> Everybody, come get it. Spotted right. the target. Spotted the target. We do have... Um, hmm. A need for maybe a flashbang. We can either flashbang those two or uh, this... Oh. Psionic, uh, psionic dude. It's fine. Bruiser. Wait, I'm sorry. You spotted a target? There's no target. Recover the Surly Constant. Uh, let me guess. Surly Constant must be on number 9. That looked like a special weapon. Uh, or not. It looks kind of like a normal weapon, actually. Bruiser, do you have it? Who's got it? Who's got the, who's got the goods? You? You. Oh, you do. Number seven, I see. Well, in that case, these guys get the flashbang. Yes, the Acolyte, he's going to move first. 
But um, I'm just going to flash the heck out of these guys. I'm sorry. Are you not able? There we go. That's the flash I want. Let's do it. Flash. That's a free move. Again, if you don't use it, you lose it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna wear that phrase out, but um, I'm happy to happy to wear it out. Um, who can go next? Zephyr. Yeah, absolutely Zephyr. He's gonna take care of number two. Now number three, with relative ease. Um, who do you want to take out? Number eight. Or do you want to go for, like, number four out here? Number three, number four. Uh, number three's done. Number four. What's your, what's your deal? 77. Not huge a fan of that. 95. 75. Oh, because he's got, um, he's just uh, harder to hit. I understand that. Base Lance. <clears throat> 64 is... Not worth it to me. Wow, he's dealing 5 to 6 damage? Is that normal? Let's take your shots at Cobra Man. Or maybe not. Trooper? 95% chance to... Um... Actually, you know, he's flanked. What if I do this? That's, a, that's, that's an 81% chance to absolutely destroy him. I'll take... I'll take the almost guarantee, though. Yep. That was excellent. We got one more move. Uh, we can subdue somebody. Um, we could try subduing... Let's try it. Let's see what happens. We can walk up here. I don't like that a ton. But it's, uh, these are the choices that we have. These are the choices that we have. I can walk up here, subdue, and then Pangolin can maybe take care of Bruiser a little more. <sighs> Let's see. What if we fire our weapons? 86, 77, 75, 74. Um... This is um, a little tough, but I like the idea that Blue Blood can be in the middle and just take shots at everybody. Um, subdue here. Yeah, this puts him into a precarious spot. You're under arrest. But he gets the Overwatch. <gasps> he gets the Overwatch. Zephyr. Who do you mess up? Cobra. I like the idea of drawing fire from Cobra. Man Nano med kit. And open and close the door. Prep. Subdue. Rippling blow. Yes, the bruiser is right there. But I'm not totally worried about him. The resonant. Um, kind of worried. Cobra absolutely worried. He's got some special thing, and I just don't want to see it uh, be an issue. I will attack from this side of the fence because it's technically 100%, um, but also in... Uh, he's gonna... He's gonna... Yeah, it's gonna be fine. I'll do it right there. I got... Stun! Oh, that's an excellent stun. Um... Now, I could parry, but why the heck should I? Let's run up, get into full cover. I probably could have run up in a different way. Bruiser, what you gonna do? Ooh, that was a very nice miss. Is that even full half cover? Yo, did I put him into zero cover? I may have actually put him into zero cover. That doesn't look like cover to me. <laughs> that was an awesome miss. That was an awesome miss. Terminal, what you got for me? Um, You can pin somebody down, like this Cobra, for sure. Um, 
cooperation on the Zephyr? Cooperation on the Zephyr, perhaps. Who's going first? Cobra, followed by Resonant. I can take the Resonant out. Nah, I can take him out next turn using using Co uh, using my Torque. I don't have to worry about giving Torque an extra move. I think I will give my extra move to Zephyr, though. Let's give her the cooperation she needs. And she can actually Crippling Blow here. Or just a straight-up Subdue. Yeah, give it to her. I'm counting on you. Subdue Unconscious. Hostile. Wonderful. Got that Surly Constant. No problem. That was a, that was a good roll. That was a good roll. Zephyr, um, unfortunately, can no longer um, do anything else. But, hey, that was awesome. That was awesome. Ceasefire. Ceasefire on who? Resonant? I like this idea. If you don't use it, you, 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 you know what I'm going to say. I'm going to throw that grenade. Weapon disabled. He's going to have to rely on uh, doing something else with that. Um, we're going to safeguard our very squishy blue blood who is technically not in cover. And Torque now has the ability to not team up or nor uh, incendiary grenade. I'm going to... Oh! Oh, unfortunately, I have to do this. Okay, that's fine. I'm rooted. Hey! Awesome. That was an, an excellent shot. Um, I can now bind you for free? Yeah, let's do it. Just go to sleep. Have fun. Have fun with that. I do believe the bind is going to end his turn. Resonant's going to want to take shots at somebody? Oh, I love it. The extra defense is... Actually, I don't even know what defense does. Yeah, not exactly sure what defense does. However, we do have a lance. Technically, this lance is going straight through that explosive barrel. What if this were to happen? I'm just, w just wondering... Just wondering. Just gonna wonder. And Zephyr, oh, you have the best job in the world. Did I collect all the goodies? I did. Um, that guy's down. Um, this this texture is really funny, but I, I think I did that. I think <laughs> if, uh, if I had made the textures a little better, then it would uh, not look like that. But what I will do is absolutely subdue the heck out of this guy. Um, will this mean that she crosses through fire? Probably. But she's going to be okay. We're just going to dash her way up here and subdue. Yeah, she didn't get caught on fire. Hostile subdued. Oh, what a wonderful, wonderful campaign. Um, or uh, operation. Laser noose. That literally makes no sense <laughs> but i captured five enemies and i'm very happy to have done so uh, that's an extra 20 intel wonderful 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 um and with that i can also i think i'm going to be able to uh upgrade one of my field teams to level three expert field teams and verge is um a little bit more awesome got that extra intel and the Surly Constant. Uh, training complete. Hey, Dang. buddy. Read my mind lately? You know I would never do that. How would you know? I know. Unless you read my mind. <laughs> because I am your squad mate. And you trust me with your life. But you could have programmed me to think. <laughs> no one can program a mind with such complexity as yours. Ah, uh, Verge. Sometimes I think you're the only one who truly gets me. Because he's literally in your brain. <laughs> I know. Um, of course he knows. Again, the uh, the conversations that my team has with each other, it's so 
it's so fun. It's so fun to see them like bond. Uh, field teams can now be upgraded to rank three. Thank you very much. Happy to see it. Um, we're going to immediately get into Master Crafted Armor. We need that. Like today. Like yesterday. But it's going to be a whole week before we get that. It's going to be a while, but um, it's going it, to. It's we're going to see the. Um, we're going to see exactly why the Master Crafted armor is going to be, uh, you know, essentially essential for how we uh, how we go about our operations. Now I'm going to stop talking and uh, just get this show on the road. Look at this. Look at this. Poison spit. Torque spits out a blast of poison that explodes into a deadly pool. Poisons everyone on impact. Three three turn cooldown. Happy to see that. Oh, that's like a that's like a free grenade. Um that is like a free grenade. Uh and now I would love to see our new weaponry. Um who we give it to? Let's try giving this enhanced uh I'm sorry, getting this advent prototype submachine gun because it burned through too much ammunition. Let's see what it can do. Um, first off, superior laser sight, but it grants the hail of bullets ability, which is a hail of bullets that is guaranteed to hit your target. Uses a lot of ammunition. Okay, so this is a lot like the ventilate uh, skill that, um, that Godmother has, right? Ventilate is a... Uh, this uh, will destroy target's cover, but it's a guarantee to hit. It's a 100% chance. Um, which is awesome. If we can hit an enemy that is like maybe only like a 40% like a chance to hit, man, that is, that's worth it to me. That's absolutely worth it to me. Let's get that. Um, yeah, let's, let's, I'm happy with that. Uh, Surly Constant, does she want it? I mean, he's got the Spire. Enhanced Pistol, Enhanced Pistol, Pangolin, Enhanced MSMG. Yeah. Unfortunately, we only have one really awesome submachine gun. <clears throat> With that said, I think I like where we're at right now. Our Master Crafted Armor is, uh, is still going. Glad handing. We're still begging for money on the street corner. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Godmother, for... Uh, Pulling your weight in the squad. I, I do sincerely mean that. Verge. Is there anything we can do for it? Eh, no, 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 no. Um, I like the idea of perhaps switching somebody out. But no, we can totally do prevent field test. <laughs> um, Now, pre for preventing the field test, do we want to have Zephyr in there? And I feel like we can. Zephyr's... Oh, field teams can now be upgraded to rank 3. Yes! I want to show you what, what's going to happen here. So we're going to go into... Um, I don't know. Like this one right here. And minus 2 district unrest every Friday. Uh, that sounds awesome. Let's go ahead and upgrade immediately. And get that extra intel income. However, why do we do this? Because we now have ability to gain extra situation rewards. We click that right now, and we can immediately gain one of these. Um, do we want Crime Scene, which gives us intel, or do we want Illyrium Smuggler, which gives us um, credits? And I'm looking at our credits, and it is very low. However, we're going to gain some credits over here. So I think we click this, and we gain intel. I'm going to do this on downtown. And I'm just going to keep an eye out on my intel right now. It's 50. It's up to 83. Guess what? 83 is uh, half of 65 rounding up. So we gained 50% of whatever it is that uh, that reward is. And now this thing's on a four-turn cooldown. Um, pretty nice, if you ask me. I'm not going to go for the Ill Illyrium Smuggler. Instead, I'm going to go for our uh, our Angler Point mission. Hold the phone. What is this? Oh, no, no. I have no city anarchy. There's literally no point. Prevent field test. Let's see. Minus two unrest. 
Let's just, um, oh. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Well, we'll go. We'll just make sure that we do not literally press launch like we did in the last episode. Um, or was that this episode? Very difficult. Repel point, wall, and door. Okay, so we need a wall charge. We need a wall charge. Do we need a door key? I don't think so. We'll take the breaching charge. Or a breaching charge. Make items available. Sure. And... She's got a really awesome gun. Torque also does. Um... Surly constant. Yeah, yeah. We definitely want that surly constant on her. Although, is it time to switch her out? Um... I'm looking at our our roster. Who wants to go on this? Who can go? Technically, he can. And maybe that's worth it? Technically, he can. And he is very strong. He's got a lot of good stuff going for him. Um, I just want to look at his... Sorry. I'm gonna look at Cherub's abilities. I mean, he can, he can just give... Uh, shields to people all day long and then run up and deal uh, melee damage which might be nice which might be nice if we have him plus I don't know I think we just take all of our strongest units right so unfortunately Deputy Zephyr you're going to set this one out um, I think that means Mr. Verge you're coming with us I'm sorry, Mr. Verge, you're coming with us. Unless he's doing something, right? Training? Back ops. No, glad handing. Right, so we can't use... We cannot use... Um, uh, Godmother unless we want to take her off of glad handing and uh, get no refund. Okay. Well, for one... Uh, I mean, she's pretty strong. She's got a lot of stuff going for her. And I think Terminal's got a lot of stuff going for her as well. I think Terminal stays. I think Mr. Cherub, you get in. Verge gets in. And so does Blue Blood. Unfortunately, Zephyr, you're just like not quite. I want to see what else you can do. But literally, like I'm, I'm just, I'm just scared because you're kind of squishy. However, you are very strong as is. With the crippling blow and the momentum, and the parry, and the fearless advance. <sighs> okay, you talked me into it. You're staying in, Zephyr. But you know, don't, don't let me down here. Zephyr goes. Hmm. Zephyr goes. So does Blue Blood. <clears throat> that Ever Vigilant is amazing. Um, because you can take a shot and then you move. I think that's an absolute yes on Verge. Yeah, yeah. I'm I'm convinced. Um. Unfortunately, Torque, you're going to be switched out for Verge here. Um, now, what does that mean for Torque? We can unlock your potential. Dodge increased by 20? Uh, yes, please. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's so nice. Um, Glad Handing's going to keep going. You're going to keep working on building us some armor, Cherub. Thank you. I understand that you only have five years of experience on this planet, but I'm sure you know how to build, um, you know, the greatest armor this team has ever seen, right? Okay. We're going to click into this. Send APC. Everyone's got something to do. We have our best weapons on the field. Spire. Um, hold on. We're going to make uh, items available. Um, advanced scope? Fire at target until you run out of ammo or it dies. I think we use that with the advanced scope. Um, advanced mag. 
technically, that could be good. We're just gonna shoot an additional bullet uh, while we do our banish. Flux weave, mock weave. All day long, mock weave. Hollow scanner. Um, tranks? Incendiary grenades? I think we do a flashbang on you. And, um, maybe Trank Rounds? I don't know. Trank Rounds could be good. Um, the Surly Constant, Hail of Bullets ability. I mean, everyone's got stuff, right? I think Trank Rounds on Verge is actually unnecessary. Absolutely unnecessary. We will, because Verge, remember, um, all of his abilities are like... They're gonna grant him the ability to not kill our enemies. They're just gonna put him in, put him to sleep. So we undo Trank Rounds. And, uh, I'm sorry. We go over here and take away the Dragon Rounds. Give the Trank Rounds to, uh, to Mr. Blue Blood. And we throw in Dragon Rounds here. Is that gonna be awesome? I don't know. We'll, we'll see. We'll absolutely see how that goes. At the very least, um, Dragon Rounds is uh, one extra damage per hit. I think that's worth it. I think that's absolutely worth it. Impetuous Spire. Um, uh, yeah, doesn't have anything like uh, no added abilities, but I mean, other than Banish. Pangolin Gauntlets. Literally nothing we can do with that. Mock Weave, so useful. Ceasefire, Nano Med Kit, Shock Grenade. Uh, yeah, I think that I think that's good. Shock Grenade's excellent on you, I think. Um, target Analyzer, Ceasefire Grenade, Nano Med Kit. Um, Ceasefire Grenade is fine. Trank Rounds and a Flash. Yeah. I'm okay with this. We're going to be dealing a lot of um, fire damage, and I think that's going to be okay. Uh, dealing fire damage n naturally, that is, using Verge. Zephyr. Man, I would love to put, like, fire damage on your gloves. We'll see how that goes. Is there anything we can do over here? Reach item. Maybe a holo scanner. I don't know. E card, maybe we need it. No, we don't. Holo scanner. This literally is, like... Just burning a hole in my pocket. Um, why are we putting the scope on you? Is there anyone that could use the scope? <clears throat> Terminal. Surly constant. What's your deal? I don't think I need the scope. If I have hail of bullets. Hail of bullets has a three turn cooldown. Guaranteed to hit. I don't think we need it. Um, in fact, I think the laser sight is best with that. Um, plated vest. Lux weave. Disorientation and stun. Unnecessary, I think. I would like to get maybe some more, um, mock weave. Mock weave seems to be real good. Um, let's see blue blood real quick. And, um, I'm sorry, I'm just gonna go back look at blue blood's abilities here he is he's got a zero percent dodge chance what how is that possible how did he dodge that uh, in that previous encounter no idea none whatsoever maybe it's the purple i don't know in any case very strong team very very strong team some of our best um, I just wish that, uh, you know, uh, we could bring on more people onto the squad, onto the squad car. Can't you just, like, add a, add a seat on the APC? Like, why do we only have to have four people? Don't understand that. In any case, uh, thanks for joining us. We're going to be getting into this Angler's Point Prevent Field Test mission ASAP, because uh, it's literally the only thing that we really want to do. It's like... You know, if we're going to get 105 uh, uh, credits here, we may as well just get 100 credits over here and um, 
and finish up that field test. Uh, prevent that field test. With that said, thanks for joining me. Um, if you would please, uh, I would really appreciate it. If you left a like and a comment or a subscription, it really means a lot to me. And I understand that some of you are literally bots out there, but as long as you're, you know what, if you are a bot, if you are a bot, uh, go ahead and leave a comment anyway. It, it, it's it's a okay by my standards. Um, but with that said, please leave a like, leave a like and a subscription. I really do appreciate it. Until next time, adios.